What's up guys? Y'all know what time it is. It's Tactics Tuesday, and today's position was reached by Tamir Rajabov as he played against Fishy and Nan back in 2006. It's white to move here, and the move Rajabov found was so decisive that the game ended one move later. Pause the video if you'd like and see what you would do here. Obviously, with the two world-class players, this was an elite-level game, and they actually went into the Poison Pond variation, which is pretty much a guarantee for an exciting and crazy game. So assuming you guys have had the chance to pause the video and give it a shot, here at only move 15 in the Poison Pond variation, where Jabov played the stunning Knight Takes E6. What is the idea here? Well, after a move like F Takes E6, now Bishop H5 check can be played. And I mean, look at the strength and activity of these bishops. The bishop on h5, piercing down on the king on e8, and this bishop on h4, piercing down on e7 and d8. So here, only g6 can be played, and now we see bishop takes g6 checkmate. So after knight takes e6, the knight can't be taken, and a move like queen takes e4 doesn't work either, because now we have knight c7 checkmate, and again, this bishop on h4 takes away both e7 and d8. So out of desperation in this position, Anand played g5. But now we see knight f6 check. Idea being, if king e7, we have queen d6 checkmate. And after knight takes f6 check, we have knight c7 check. And after king e7, queen d6 checkmate. So I hope you all enjoyed this video on Puzzle. Rajabov is a super exciting player to watch, and I highly recommend you guys check out some of his games if you ever get the chance. And as always, thanks for tuning in, and I'm wishing you all an awesome day. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. If you'd like to watch another one, you can click or tap up here. And I've got a lot more high-quality chess content on the way. So if you'd like to subscribe, you can click or tap down here. I really appreciate your support.